hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video we'll be talking about a new playlist in our web development bootcamp which would be on front-end basics the most anticipated playlist on my youtube channel and i know that a lot of us have been waiting for it so the wait is finally over now this new playlist on front-end basics is going to be a part of the phase one of our web development bootcamp which will help you build strong fundamentals in front-end web development in building websites the building blocks of websites things like html css so let's just try to understand what this playlist this this module is all about so if we talk about the objectives of this course i'm a firm believer of learn by doing so what we'll be doing is we'll be learning by building a website and uh, as you can see the website that is here in front of your screen this is the website that we are going to build while learning the basics of front end the basic technologies like html css and all all the other things so this is the website that we are going to build now as you can see this uh, website i've coded it over a span of a few days and uh, the time lapse for it how like while i was coding it i shoot shorter time lapse of it so that's available as well on my youtube channel you can go check that out if you haven't already and if you are interested but this is the overall website that we are going to code so this is the home page of the website and uh, as you can see it has a regular nav bar that is customary in all the websites that are there and then it has this first section where we you know talk about our objectives and things like that then we showcase a little bit about our community and uh, we talk about our bootcamp the web development bootcamp the road less traveled and um, then we have the faqs and finally the footer so that was the home page of this website and uh, then we have a simple about us page not much about it we have a bootcamp page where again we try to explain uh, what was there in the roadmap video as well uh, what are the objectives of this bootcamp and how it is divided in different phases so it's a polyphasic course and by polyphasic we mean that uh, there are going to be four phases into this course uh, the phase one which is going to be on static websites so this playlist is going to be a part of this phase the phase one on static websites and uh, in this playlist we are going to be learning about html we are going to be learning about css we are going to be learning about bootstrap a little bit of flex because that's pretty important and we'll touch base on tailwind what it is and how it's exactly different from bootstrap and when to use it when not to use it things like that and um, we'll be touch basing with a little bit of javascript as well so basics of javascript and jquery as well which is a javascript based framework and we'll be adding some visual effects later on we'll be seeing how to integrate you know different libraries that are already there and you know how you can just uh, add their cdns into your web pages and things like that and don't worry about all the technical jargon that i'm speaking right now if you don't understand what a cdn is or things like that it's, it's not a big deal we are going to cover it up and uh, then we in this page we talk a little bit more about the other phases the phase two on serverless architecture the phase three on monolithic architecture and phase four about microservice architecture which are going to be coming up later so that's our bootcamp page then we finally have our courses page where we like list down all the playlists that we are going to have so we already have created the linux masterclass and the git and github masterclass at the time of shooting this video uh, the linux masterclass is almost complete there might be a few videos missing and uh, we'll be adding them later when the time comes when you have adequate knowledge to you know absorb what is going to come next and uh, for git and github again we have some videos left but uh, i'm not going to uh, you know just focus on git i'm also going to start front end in parallel uh, so this video is a part of that and we are going to do a little bit of front end as well and uh, eventually we are going to start with python as well uh, python 3.11 which is the latest version of it so this is the courses page in general if you click on playlist then you go into the playlist 
link that is there on YouTube and if you click on explore on any of these then on explore then you'll be seeing this page the course specific page and here you will notice that um, all the videos that are there in that playlist have been mentioned here uh, you can click on it to go to the video directly you can click on notes to you know check out the notes that are available for that particular video um, and uh, I've also written a little bit of description about all of these videos as well. So you'll get to know about what exactly is in this video. And if you should watch it or not, you can take a call based on that. So there are going to be pages for all of all of the playlists that we have. There's there's this page for Git and GitHub as well with, with, with the four videos that we have at the time of shooting this video. There might be more later on. And um, then again, we have front end basics, but still, uh, since we don't have any videos yet on it, then it's, it's simply coming soon, but uh, we'll be adding videos in this and we'll again be adding videos in Python fundamentals as well. So all of that is going to be there. And also you can contribute into this website. Uh, so on the nav bar, there's a button called contribute. If you click on it, then it will take you to our um, Virtual Tech Schools repository, our website repository, where you can actually make some contributions. So do make sure to check that out. And uh, one thing to note here is that this uh, this website, uh, it's still in development, I would say, because um, this is the first version, the version that we are going to uh, take into consideration while starting this course and this is the version that we are trying to replicate with that will be trying to build while learning the basic front-end technologies but over the time this website is going to you know uh, improve in terms of UI in terms of features there are going to be more features over the time there's going to the UI is going to look a bit different over the time so it might be that by the time you're watching this video this website looks a bit different but uh, worry not uh, you'll still be building something similar to this in uh, while while learning the basics of front end so that's there and uh, one thing to note here is that this website is completely responsive so if you look at the web version a desktop version then this is the desktop version but again from desktop version you can also go into uh, the mobile version as well so this is mobile version we can set the mobile version on iphone xr and uh, in iphone you would see that again all all the boxes and everything is aligned properly and everything is responsive here right from the nav bar till the footer right and uh, not just this page all the other pages are also responsive if i go into the bootcamp page then this is also responsive completely responsive right so you'll be seeing that and uh, it is also responsive for tablets as well so in our course we'll be learning how to build responsive websites right from the scratch it's not like responsive websites are different from the websites that you usually build and uh, we are going to be learning about responsive websites right from scratch so will be building a responsive website while learning basic front-end technologies which is a big plus so that's there now again talking about what exactly would we be learning about in in this uh, playlist then as i've already mentioned we'll be learning about html we'll be learning about css we'll be learning about bootstrap we'll be learning about flex we'll be also be learning about tailwind not and detail but we'll be touch basing on tailwind and how it is different from bootstrap both of them are uh, for styling purposes but uh, how it is different from bootstrap when to use it when to use tailwind when to use bootstrap things like that we'll be discussing and we'll be touch basing on javascript learning basics of javascript not going to dive deep into it but uh, and we and we might have a separate playlist for javascript entirely so that's a possibility uh, we'll be learning about jquery as well and then we'll be learning about how to integrate you know some external libraries from for some visual effects or things like that so all of that is going to be there now talking about what will you need for this bootcamp um, i think 
apart from a desktop or a laptop whatever you are on you'll be needing an IDE an integrated development environment and the IDE that I would recommend is Visual Studio Code so the link to download Visual Studio Code or VSC would be available in the description below you can click on that link and you can download for whatever operating system you are using if you don't have it already uh, or if you're using some other ID it's it's completely fine so you can download it for Windows you can download it for Ubuntu you can download it for Mac whatever you're using so the link to this would be in the description below now let's just talk about some of the uh, you know tips that I can give you on how to approach this bootcamp how to learn from this bootcamp and uh, in order to do so I'll tell you a little story so uh, when I was starting out when I started out coding when I was in my early days uh, obviously I mean since I was aspiring to become a full stack developer I needed the skills of having you know learning HTML and CSS and you know all the building blocks that are actually holding a website together that are the you know prime construct of a website so I, I, I needed to learn these technologies and um, I think I must have spent not more than a day or two learning HTML and CSS and uh, ever since after that till this date I have never watched any other tutorial or you know any other uh, resource for HTML or CSS right so HTML or CSS is you know these these technologies they are more about practice right I've, I've seen students who spent three months six months just simply you know learning different things in HTML and CSS and stuff like that but uh, I think to be very honest HTML and CSS is not rocket science and it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward right and uh, I, I don't think that in any case scenario you need to spend that much amount of time three months six months just simply learning HTML CSS uh, it's it's pretty straightforward and uh, yeah, not just me I mean I know many developers have not spent more than a couple of days to just quickly skim through what HTML and CSS is and how does it work and once we get the gist of it it's all about practice the more you build the more platforms you build the more websites you build the more front end you build the better you will get at it right it's it's not like you have to learn it for three months or six months at least in order to get better you just acquire a basic gist of it and uh, you just you know take it from there so that's how I recommend you should learn HTML and CSS and uh, that's exactly how I am going to teach in this bootcamp as well because as you might already know if you're not new to the channel my teaching style is a bit different right I uh, try to go into the depths of things I try to you know make sense of everything that is happening in front of me I try to explain everything but um, I still feel that HTML and CSS is not something that you have to spend a lot of time on so uh, we'll be touch basing with the basic tags that are there we'll be touch basing with the basic styling attributes that are there and things like that but uh, after that I think that uh, I mean you'll, you'll get the gist as we go about it but the main thing is that once we are done you know learning that HTML and CSS while building this website it's more about practice so we'll be building a lot of projects one more thing I'd like to recom like recommend is that uh, if you are following my course if you are following this bootcamp then uh, I would request you to sincerely follow all the instructions that I'm giving I would request you to sincerely you know do all the assignments that I'm giving do all the challenges that I'm giving and things like that because those are the things that are going to make you a software engineer those are the things that are you know going to you know make you get out of your comfort zone and actually you know put in that effort that it requires to you know actually become good at something so because I mean see it's it's very easy for me to create you know two or three hour tutorials on uh, you know just coding HTML just coding CSS it's it's pretty easy for me but uh, the main thing is that if you're just you know blindly just I mean I am creating a three hour tutorial and if you're just blindly watching that three hour tutorial and just doing what I am doing you're not going to learn anything right so I'm going to you know throughout the course I'm going to make you pause the video 
I'm going to make you, you know, attempt something on your own. And I like, uh, I mean, I'd really like you. I would really want you to actually attempt those things, right? To to fight for it, to fight for the skills that you are trying to acquire, right? Because things don't come easy. So try to fight for the skills that you're trying to acquire. If I'm giving you a task, if I'm giving you something, if I'm asking you to pause the video, and if I'm asking you to, you know, let's say we build this first section journey through the road, let's travel and these four boxes and the buttons. And then I ask you to pause the video and build this second section on your own about polyphasic course and uh, all this text that is written and this, this video image and whatever it is if I'm asking you to build this on your own I want you to pause the video and attempt it on your own right just don't blindly you know uh, keep watching the video and see how I am doing it and just copy paste it right because that's not going to get you anywhere so if you are going to follow my course follow it sincerely if not then I think there are plenty of other YouTube channels that uh, teach you html css you can go explore them there are plenty of courses on udemy and things like that you can go explore them because my teaching style is different my course is going to be different so uh in uh, i mean until and unless you are putting in the effort that i'm asking you to you won't be getting anywhere right so make sure to take it seriously and uh, be sincere about it right and uh, i can guarantee you that if you follow all the things that i tell you to if you if you actually put in the fight to acquire those skills then uh, by the end of this course you'll have wonderful results in front of you right now since we are already talking about the results that are going to be there in front of you uh, once you complete this uh, this playlist i would say once you complete uh, you know, learning the basic front end and building this website that is here in front of you. I think that you would be well equipped and well versed in the front end technologies, the basic front end technologies to the extent that uh, you would be able to clone most of the websites that are out there. I mean, if I, after, after doing this, if I, uh, you know, tell you to clone a certain website, if I tell you to clone this website or that website, I think you would be pretty confident in cloning that. Uh, that is something that I can guarantee, sort of guarantee. But again, I mean, I, I I want you to be serious about it. I want you to take it sincerely. But uh, if you do all of that, then I can guarantee that you'll, you'll see the results and you would be able to, you know, glide through building all the websites that you come across, right? If you come across a website, it might look a little bit challenging at first, but it will start making sense. Like, how can I, you know, actually build this stuff if i want to let's say clone a razor pay website or a youtube clone or something like that it will actually you know start making sense that how can i you know actually do this right so that would be the result of what you are going to achieve after you know learning this basic front end talking about what's next so again i mean earlier i mentioned that uh, getting good at HTML and CSS and, uh, you know, embedding it in your blood, in your veins. It's something that requires a lot of practice. So that is something that again, we are going to do a lot. So once, you know, we build this website and we learn that basic front end, we are going to build a lot of cloning projects. Uh, we are going to clone a lot of websites. Uh, I am going to, you know, on the virtual tech schools website, on this website, I'm going to post certain assignments. I'm going to post certain challenges and I would like you to attempt those challenges, those, those assignments and uh, just, you know, practice as much as you can so that you can see the results yourself and you're confident in, you know, what you're doing and the skills that you've acquired. So, yeah, with all that being said, I think uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I think I've summarized what you can expect, what are the objectives of this module, what you can expect by the end of it and how to approach learning it and things like that. So we have addressed all of those things. I think that's pretty much it for this video. I'm pretty excited to you know, actually teach you all of those things because uh, I mean, I, I, I have a different teaching style, but I know that you know, the way I'm going to teach it is going to, uh, you know, embed deep inside your veins and you'll be very confident about whatever you're learning from me. So feel excited about it. I am pretty excited about teaching you and uh, 
yeah i'll, I'll see you in the next video where uh, we are going to start with our front end basics course till then peace